Hello, our friends, Evolution <laughs> Evolutionary Energy Arts family. I'm just laughing because Rama was out running, catching balls, and if you could hear like heavy breathing and panting, don't be alarmed. Yeah. It's not an intruder. It's just Rama. He's just he's got his head up here and he wants to be part of the fun. He's like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready to do my part. And this was our first video at. 3.30 this morning or so, uh, we did this one. Is the end of the medical system as we know it near? Maybe, maybe. Look closely. Look really closely before drinking any Kool-Aid. And I don't know why anybody would want to drink Kool-Aid anyway. It's just nasty. It, it's yucky. Yeah. It's yucky, kids. And here we see Biden announces Israel, Hezbollah, ceasefire. The U.S. proposed armistice will start at 4 a.m. local time. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It, it's just been nonstop fighting over there, nonstop bombing. Uh, Israel has been bombing Lebanon, Syria on and off. And, of course, over in Gaza, well, you know, it's, it's not a good situation. This is Putin saying what's happening in Gaza does not look like war, but it looks like total destruction of the civilian population. We deem this to be a direct result of the United States policies. And my guess is this particular video, because we bring this up in Gaza, will probably get restricted. I'm just saying. This is what this is the way the system works. Russia to the west sending nukes to Ukraine will be the start of World War Three. Following reports that Biden is considering deploying nuclear missiles to Ukraine. Hello. <sighs> the, the deputy chairman of the Russian S Security Council warned Rush, uh, transferring nuclear weapons to Kiev would be preparation for a nuclear conflict with Russia. It's something the entire world doesn't want, but it seems that certain leaders, like Keir Starmer in the UK, who has 3 million people signing a petition, just about 3 million probably by now, uh, to hold new elections to get him out of there. Because, again, we don't want to see a world war. But the leadership of the world seems to want to see a world war. Meanwhile, NATO revives talk of sending European troops to Ukraine and it's telling the business leaders to prepare for a wartime scenario. So France followed this week by approving Ukraine's use of French long-range missiles against Russia, specifically the Scalp missiles. Uh, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. All the leaderships, they got to go. You know, you could go Macron and Trudeau and Starmer. Of course, Biden is on the way out, but it seems like he's just trying to s just stir the pot as much as possible. Maybe go down history as being, you know, the person that was technically the president when WW3 started officially. Germany suggests turning metro stations into bomb shelters. People will also be encouraged to convert their own basements into fortified bunkers. A government spokesman has said. Any comments on that? No, actually, no. I'm just kind of in a place where I'm watching it all unfold. That's what we have been doing. We're just watching this unfold and saying, you know, stop the insanity, please. Stop the ride. We want to get off. Just, you know, somebody load the leadership of the world on the cuckoo train and send them off to Antarctica. They probably couldn't harm anything down there, could they? Ukraine loses 1,550 soldiers in the last day. Um, the number of losses keeps increasing. And they also were here showing fragments of what they call that hypersonic missile. And it's interesting, too, because they were describing this very similar to the rods of God, you know, and, and we were given videos of the flight of the missile, and it, it looked just like Elon's things that he launches. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sold that the technology that we're told things are, are is really what the technology is, it's just like the origins of certain fires and certain clouds. 
here you go. Biden wants to get another $24 billion uh, over to his buddy. $24 billion more right before, you know, 47 comes online. This is the this is where we are. Is he trying to launder as money as much cash as possible before he's out of power? Are they just trying to trigger us? You know, to, uh, is this all that it is? Is just trigger us? Meanwhile, you know, people are in tents up in North Carolina, and the young one actually lost their life to exposure um, because of that. Please do pray for everybody up in North Carolina and also Tennessee. Uh, where they're still trying to recover from the hurricane. Here we have Elon saying, SpaceX is alien-level technology. Really? <laughs> Tell me another, Elon. Meanwhile, you have UAPs over Newmarket, Suffolk, only 15 minutes away from Milden Hall and Lincoln Heath bases, uh, air bases, by the way. Whenever you see anything now, especially a line, you automatically think, well, that's Elon. It's just Starlink. It's nothing. And, you know, have they done, is part of Starlink in the knowledge that they're showing so many things up there just to cover more alien craft coming and going? Is, is that part of it? Um, I think it is. That's just me, though. Well, I, I think so, too. It's been that way for a while. Yeah, uh, you know, they, they, they are hinting to our reality and yet um, not giving us, you know, a, a full disclosure. But they kind of have. They, they did say they have bodies of beings that are not humans, not from here as far as they can tell. And um, this is Mike Adams. He's talking about the insanity going on with the technology and, you know, just, again, why? W nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. See, I think, again, he's talking about how fast they could be delivered. There's no stopping them. That video that we saw of them striking um, was really, it was striking. And it really hit me as something alien feeling. It really, really did. Um here he's talking about how all U.S. military bases, all underground bunkers, all ICBM launch sites, naval shipyards can be destroyed with these non-nuclear kinetic energy weapons via the Oreshnik. It's, it's just a fact of how fast they travel that it wouldn't even take a nuclear payload to be kind of like the ultimate bunker buster. So, you know, again, they always do telegraph things. It's interesting to see how much he has really lit up against things lately. Billy Carson, uh, looking at these similar artifacts that really look like alien technology or representation of aliens. Is this just kids' uh, toys? Yeah, make a guy with a cool-looking head, ma. Well, you know, how about that guy that we saw flying through the sky piloting a ship? Yeah, that one. That'd be cool. Well, this is, again, China and, and Mexico, um, thousands of miles apart. They look very, very similar, do they not? I think so. They look like they have some sort of a vacuum on their head, like they could be picked up and used as a handbag. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, Auric. Yeah, Auric. something like that. Yeah. Well, or maybe it's some sort of visor that they pull down, or I don't know, but it was... It's oh, yeah, it could be VR, too. Yeah, maybe it's a virtual reality. How about this? They say uh, ancient device for structuring water. Research on the devices was discontinued in 1960. One of the researchers, H.A. White, attributed this to scientific prejudice, saying if there had been such thing, could have changed society. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many things that are banned because they would take money away from where the system makes money. They would be cleaner. Uh, they would enable us to progress ah okay here's elon again see this proves that i'm a time traveling vampire alien hmm, even though i'm five thousand years old i think i look much younger so it says elon musk's profile says he's been verified since 3000 bce hmm what's he trying to hint with i mean he's given us so many hints guys Wants everybody to come take a ride back to Mars with him. Keyword there is back. I agree. I agree. 
Roman tidal baths in Malta. Malta, wow. Now that that is definitely on my list. That's on my bucket list along with Peru, Cappadocia, and Turkey. Um, look at these baths. They're exactly, the, the, the water's exactly where it was 2,000 plus years ago. Uh, doesn't seem like anything much has changed here, kids. You know, where is that Al Gore when you want to question him? I don't know. He's probably eating another dozen donuts somewhere. He's probably inter entertaining himself with those Roman baths. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to think about the company. Yeah. This is good company. This is good company. This is love. If cats and dogs can get along, so could we. Let's just change the leadership structure of the planet. I think so. If, if we change it to kittens and puppies, and you know, then we'll be a lot better off. Yes. Well, one thing that they have that, that the leadership of the planet doesn't have is a heart. Oh, yeah, it's fit. that's true. Yep. Maybe a soul, too. And a soul. As always, guys, source bless and namaste. Namaste.